Dear friends, I'm here particularly to thank you for all that you are doing as you seek to serve the communities and parishes and for our partnership together as we go through these extremely difficult and challenging times and begin to look to the future. Church is continuing in new and very different circumstances and our clergy and many in our congregations are reaching out to each other and to the wider communities that you serve. Here at the diocesan offices, teams such as those led by Jay Colwell, our canon mission, are doing the same, sharing resource ideas, advising parishes and networks of dedicated volunteers, so enabling the church to continue in people's homes, even attracting also people who are new to church. This is also, of course, an enormously difficult time for finances in your churches and, of course, for the diocese. Here at the diocese, I want to assure you we are trying to save costs in a number of ways, including, for example, furloughing those staff who are unable to continue working. Some teams are busier than usual, such as those giving HR advice to parishes, advice on buildings and potential grants, and all manner of communication, including supporting funeral arrangements. Please do see our website for our bulletins from the coronavirus task group set up by Bishop Christopher. As you will be aware, most of the diocesan costs are of course our wonderful clergy, the housing, their training, the support we need to give. Also our current curates and supporting our ordinance. For this reason, there is not much wriggle room to save costs in the short term. And so we are especially delighted with the support you all continue to give through trying to prioritise the Parish Support Fund pledges. Thank you for working closely with your Archdeacon where you anticipate problems so that we can plan for these. You will be delighted to know that as of mid-April we didn't have any unexpected defaults in payments towards the Parish Support Fund and this helps us enormously. There are also examples of great partnership and generosity. For example, Christchurch Camberwell has managed to increase their pledge. St Mary's Battersea has received a legacy which it is willing to lend out to others rather than use for itself. We are trying to facilitate that. And the Parish of Putney has already submitted two of their volunteers willing to help with supporting parishes who need some help in replanning their own finances and may not have the skills so readily available. Please do let your Archdeacon know if you would like some help, or indeed if you can offer it. This is a time when our partnership with you is absolutely vital, and the diocesan team is here to enable and serve our parishes and communities. So thank you, and our prayers are with you and all those that you lead and you serve.